everybody, I'm Karen Cavett and this is HGTV Handmade. So I know that I am a little bit late on this since they were invented literally like 150 years ago, but lately I have been super into baseball caps. Here in LA it is so sunny all year long that every time I leave the house it's in like sunglasses and sunscreen and a baseball cap. I look like I'm a celebrity trying to avoid the paparazzi, but in reality I am just trying to not get sunburned. Plus sometimes these hats can be really cute, they can make any outfit really fun and sporty. So today I thought that I would show you guys three different ways that you can decorate a plain baseball cap. First up is a more everyday take on the flower crown. Take a plain baseball cap and a handful of fake flowers, which you can get at any craft store. For some of the flowers, you can just pull them right off the stem, but for others, you might need to break out the wire cutters or your scissors. Try to trim the base of the flower as flat as possible so that they sit on the hat really nicely. Once you have your flowers ready to go, start gluing them down with a strong glue like E6000. I ended up doing a symmetrical design, but you can arrange yours however you like. Once once I had all of my flowers in place, the glue wasn't really holding them down quite as well as I had hoped, so I supplemented it with hot glue. This dries so much faster to kind of hold everything in place while the E6000 dries overnight. Once you've let that dry overnight, you've got a pretty floral baseball cap that is a little more wearable every day than a flower crown. I mean, if you love flower crowns, you rock that flower crown, but personally, I feel like I would be more likely to wear this hat. Next up, I am breaking out a craft supply that I literally haven't used since I was about eight years old, and it is perler beads, also known as Hama beads. These are small, colorful beads you can arrange on a pegboard and then iron to get a solid shape. Before starting out, I'd recommend drawing out your design on the computer or on graph paper. Pro tip, if you like the look of separated beads like this, arrange your design backwards. But if you want your design to come out solid, like this, this, then arrange it frontwards. Then just go ahead and start arranging your beads on the pegboard. So this might take a little while, but just be patient, and once you have your design in place, be extra careful not to jostle it. So now read the instructions that came with your beads on how to iron them. For mine, I have to cover them with this ironing paper that came with the beads, and then iron it on a medium heat. After about 20 seconds, the beads should be all fused together. Let that cool off for a minute, and then peel off the paper. Now, in order to make it fit on the hat better, you can bend it around the side of a bowl while it's still warm. This should give it a slight arc like this. So once the beads are completely cooled off, it is time to attach it to the hat. I'm going to be using sticky backed Velcro for this. Cut a piece of Velcro that's a few inches long and stick one side to the hat. Now a little trick to attach the other side is to stick it right onto the first piece of Velcro. Remove the backing and stick the perler beads right on there. Now you can peel apart the Velcro and really press down the piece that ended up on the perler beads. This project is so much fun because you can make tons of different designs, add Velcro to each one, and then switch them out as often as you like. And finally, you guys know that I love me some embroidery. If you don't have perler beads on hand, but you do have embroidery thread, this is the project for you. Begin by deciding what you want your hat to say and use a chalk pencil to write it out. Then cut a piece of embroidery thread, tie off one end, and thread your needle on the other end. Now it's time to begin sewing all the way around your letters. If you don't know how to embroider like this, Lauren Fairweather just had a great explanation of it in her DIY map banner from last week. So if you want more of a step-by-step -step tutorial on embroidering words, I'm going to link that video right down below. So once you've finished embroidering your words, you can add any other details that you like. I decided to add a flower on either side. Size. And then you're done. I think this is so cute. I'm gonna wear it like every single day. So I would love to know from you which hat was your favorite. Which one of these would you rock all summer long? Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And if you want even more summertime clothing DIYs, we have so many videos for you from sneakers to tank tops to skirts to more sneakers. I'll link all of those videos right down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time.